What's up guys, my name is JadyCut5 and welcome back to the episode of the Creator Club Career Mode and this is the last episode of this particular season as we push forward and try our luck and try and see if we can get up to the championship. In terms of the games we've got today, we've got a first game away from home against MK Dons. In terms of the team that we're going to on display, Valislev in goal with an Arari and Angola link up with Capose on the left, Alvarez on the right. Almeida and Alfonso team up in the middle with Alcatani just in front with Alexis Vega on the left, Luka Jovic up top with Akrim Afif coming in on the right right hand side. Vital to be able to try and see if we can get all three points in this fixture as we haven't got many games left in the league and this could pretty much sum up our season and hopefully get us where we need to be and that is definitely going to be in the championship next season that is for sure. No way that we want to be spending another season in League One. We are all about progression and trying to see what we can do season in, season out. With that being said, let's try and get things kicked off and hope for a decent result away from home. In terms of the game, then we make a quick start, but we do lose out, as you can see. It just a, what a bit of a weird pass, and then can see where we just lose the ball in the middle of the park. But we pick it up once again, Alvarez being persistent, and he does get the ball back, and he drives on the right-hand side. Could be an actual dangerous position to where we fall into, as Alcatani meets it onto Jovic. Jovic shoots, and Jovic pretty much nearly breaks the net, and he finds it inside six minutes. Unbelievable start, and a brilliant goal from Luka Jovic, as they nearly break in the net. The power from that shot was unbelievable. Lovely link-up play, and we find ourselves having a very good start that is for sure MK Don's trying to try and attack back but it seems to be that it's late on into the first half 30 minutes only that chance we had we took and they nearly take one there as you can see they cross it in no one meets it but it puts on to a teammate once again Kemp Valislav saves they're putting it out for a corner kick as they're going to get the corner then could they do something from this as they ask to play it short and they do actually play it short as Devoy's on the ball he takes his time he whips it onto Nielsen Nielsen whips it down as you can see onto Leko then as Leko finds his teammate Norman and Norman's got a chance here and he is taking it what a peach of a shot a lovely goal from Norman as he picks the ball up again and he wants to get things restarted pretty pretty quickly a lovely goal from Norman though as you can see on the replay he just touched it down so perfectly and he just absolutely belts it there on his right foot the keeper should have done that a little bit better as there's no real direction but a decent goal nevertheless 36 minutes in and NK Don's getting the kind of momentum going in this game that is for sure Devoy onto Harvey then as he tries to make a move here onto Williams then as they're just passing it about really nicely try to make the interception but referee says free kick as they take their time they're going to literally play it short straight away and they're trying to see if they can get a goal in this first half then as it onto Nielsen Nielsen left hand side he whips it in there's an opportunity once again it is taken but the flag is raised and it won't count as it is deemed offside we get away with that one that is for sure as we get restarted from the goal kick and try and push it out from the back Capoza on the left hand side five minutes left in this first half as Capoza tries to get something going but Norman intercepts on to Leco then could this be a goal I don't think it'll be offside either if they do get in Norman on the right hand side he tries to drive forward he beats Capozo really well on to Kemp Dennis is in here one on one and Valislev is beaten and MK Dons find themselves 2-1 up just before the half time whistle is blown a lovely bit of play from MK Dons they got unlucky with the offside opportunity and it seems to be they've taken it this time round because they do find themselves going into ahead into the break then a brilliant first half for them to be honest a slow start but it seems to be they've picked it up and they could actually make it free here. Lekko on the right hand side as he tries to drive forward. Norman him really well doing in terms of linking up. He drives on the right hand side using a lot of pace. A few white shirts flood in the box as they try and pick it out. Capozo can't do anything there as it's on to Lekko. Lekko does a Al Rara and he's just trying to tee up a move. He does really well to hold the ball up onto Norman once again trying to see if he can push it on and Dennis has got a chance here and it just strays wide then. Half time whistle has been blown and we get things restarted. Could it be a better second half or could it be more misery? Let's find out. Alvarez is going to try and see if he can drive on the right hand side as a board deceptive but it goes on to our fifth as he does intervene as he makes a 1-2 Alvarez driving the right hand side a lot of many kind of white shirts back that is for sure but they're going to try and do well because they can't pick out Luka Jovic because it is a lovely goal and it is signing himself 2-2 two, two, then a brilliant start to this second half he's picked out so well Alvarez being the whole driving force behind that as he's really persistent with that pass and Luka Jovic in a bit of space doing really well in the defence of kind of having man for man but it didn't wasn't to be and it is now level 57 minutes gone. MK Don's trying to change that though. Kemp on the left hand side. He finds his teammate Devoy in a dangerous opportunity here. He puts it onto Leko. Really simple save for Valisov as he does collect that and he's going to whip it out to Vega now. 
Vega on the left-hand side, 59 minutes gone, driving forward, 1-2 with Jovic as Vega makes the run, he's got the pace out of it for sure, Norman is caught lacking as he tries to climb back the yards, and as you can see, Vega just trying to cut inside, does really well to do so, he finds Jovic once again, Jovic tries to find a bit of space, but he is kind of mauled by the white shirts in the box, it's Al-Qatani now, and Al-Qatani with a little bit of class, the gem from Saudi Arabia has once again found the back of the net to make it now 3-2 as we go ahead for the second time in this tie. Brilliant game this is against MK Dons. They're definitely putting up a fight, but he wasn't going to stop that. He just whips it into the bottom corner, and we now are ahead. al is going to come off, though, for Zilla, as he has caught a knock for whatever reason. Hopefully that won't be too much. That's as we said, we need him. 83 minutes and near to the end of the second half, and Zilla puts into Jovic, and Jovic, simple as that, first times it on his left foot, and you don't get any better than that. A more accurate keeper couldn't have any chance of getting to that, and that is a hat-trick for Luka Jovic. Brilliant performance from him. Unbelievable pass from Zilla as he just finds him perfectly, hits it on his left, and the keeper has no chance, and that should be all three points away from home then. 4-2 on the night, a lovely game of football. That has to be said, Luka Jovic collecting the match ball, very much deserved, that is for sure. And as you can see on the news, al out for five days, there's a little bit of a blow, but the big one is we have one promotion, and we are definitely going to be going up to the championship next season. It has been confirmed, and it's mathematically impossible for us not to do so. A lovely, lovely opportunity for us to go up into the championship and now enjoy these last games. Hopefully now we can stride for the title and we've got a big game at home against Bristol Rovers. Hopefully we can get a result here. Valizdev in goal, then Aurari and N'Golo partnering with Capoza on the left, Alvarez on the right. Artin and Almeida partnering up in the middle with al just in front. He's back from fitness. Vega on the left-hand side as Luka Jovic parts up top and Alvarado on the right-hand side. Decent line-up and we should get this one done and dusted, that is for sure. Bristol Rovers having a lacklustre before performance but there seems to be that they're the teams that do battle Alvarez is definitely going to get involved though in the first 10 minutes as he intercepts and he does really well to drive on the right hand side he's got a decent bit of pace about him the Mexican international tries to see if he can find a teammate his blue shirts are kind of in, getting into the box and Luka Jovic is found a lovely save from the keeper though as it does go out for a corner a bright start in these first 11 minutes or so as we do get the corner there but nothing happens on that scenario 20 minutes gone then Bristol Rovers have had nothing to, to be honest and al just proves that lovely interception and a lovely goal from Luka Jovic. al picks out Luka Jovic really well and he finds the back of the net with absolute ease. The keep, keeping the uh, defence kind of absolutely lacking and just kind of sleeping on that one. Not being able to clear their lines and pass the ball out and they just lose it in too much of a dangerous area and Luka Jovic definitely takes his place in that one and he finds the back of the net. 23 minutes gone. Bristol Rovers trying to see if they can get a first chance in this game as Colander on the left hand side. is man marked by Alvarez who does really well to jockey with the ball. Alvarez, Alvarez trying to see if he can try to intervene now as the defence is trying to see what they can do. Colander in the left hand side as he puts it onto Ward Ward onto Rooster, Rooster shoots that's their first opportunity but that's definitely a wayward shot so that is to be said a little bit, a few minutes after that one then Alvarez on the right hand side, he's been really good so far trying to see if he can make it two for his side as he finds Almeida in a decent position Almeida's got, he got the pace as he beats the defence and the defence are trying to catch up, Almeida's got the chance to shoot he definitely does that because he scores and he wills away in celebration in front of his own fans and there's a brilliant opportunity taken by Almeida, the boy from Brazil that's been really kind of upstep in terms of his uh, path in what he's doing at the moment on this game he's absolutely unbelievable to be honest a free agent and he's just going up the ranks it's really nice to see what a special player he could be for us in the latter years that is for sure Bristol Rovers do get a corner there to try and see if they can do anything Collins has completely dismiss hits it does really well to get onto it but unfortunately just doesn't seem to be able to connect too much and he does go wide but another chance for Luka Jovic and another chance means not another goal because it has actually been saved this time round Bristol Rovers keeper getting involved on that scenario Brilliant save from the keeper. Nevertheless, though, Yuka Jovic should have been taking his chance. One on one, he stands his ground, he makes himself big, and he puts it out for a corner kick. Alexis Vega whips it in then, a chance to try and see if Jovic can whip onto it. Hits the bar. Clearance made by Taylor as it only falls to Al Qatani. Al Qatani could pump it back into the box. He takes his time, he drives it on the left hand side, he cuts in there, puts it onto Artan, and Artan tries to see what he can do, trying to see if we can pass it in more than cross it in. As Almeida's on the ball now, he could shoot. What a save that is from the keeper once again, keeping his side that slightly bit in it. I know it's 2-0 two, two at the moment, but he's at least giving them sort of a chance to be able to see if they can try and get back into this game. Lovely save from the keeper. 
pulling out all the stops. Alcatani whipping the cornering on the other side this time as he puts it into the box. Luka Jovic there once again. He can't meet the header. Artan can though as the keeper saves once again. A brilliant header from Artan. But it didn't seem to be as the keeper does save. And it goes out for another corner. Vega whipping it in corner after corner. Can we make it do? Alvarado saved. Brilliant save. This is save after save. Literally unbelievable stuff from the uh, Bristol Rovers keeper as they try and clear their lines. Rooster on the ball as he tries to see if he can find a teammate there. Just holding it. I'm trying to see why he's not clearing it to be honest and it could be a dangerous position because Alcatani's intercepted once again he's caught them lacking Luka Jovic and this time the keeper does get to it but he can't save it as it does go into the back of the net a poor finish from Luka Jovic in the end realistically as the keeper should do a little bit better with that he does get a hand to it but it's not enough it should be too much power for him in all honesty and that is a second for Luka Jovic Alcatani whipping it into the box there he just touched it down perfectly it should be a case of where he actually wrong sides him but he does get lucky with that one and it does go 3-0 though and just before half time Bristol Rovers is going to have opportunity. College trying to drive forward, as you can see. We're trying to intercept, and we do really well to do so. Capo's on the left-hand side. Could this be a fourth before half-time? Alexis Vega on the left-hand side, driving forward. Not many men forward. Could he have to do it on his own? As he has got the pace, and he's got the touch, that's for sure. As he turns to defence, he puts it onto Jovic for his hat-trick. And Luka Jovic has got a hat-trick in the first half, as he wills away in celebration to make it four. Free for himself, though. A brilliant solo performance from Luka Jovic, and he's definitely proving to be the difference in this game. That is for sure a lovely team goal though winning it from the back and just pushing it forward doing so well to find his teammate there in a dangerous position and he just puts it into the back of the net with absolute ease second half commences then 55 minutes gone and it seems to be that we're continuing the form Luka Jovic driving forward there and he could be a four for him keeper does save this time round though as Colony tries to clear the ball only as far as a blue shirt it seems to be as we do pick up the pieces and Golo heading it on to Alvarado Alvarado shoots <laughs> what a goal that is from Alvarado unbelievable stuff from the Mexican international. Unbelievable from that sort of uh, range in the net. And to be honest, unbelievable stuff just overall. Touched it down so well. He turns and he just has one thing in his mind. He's going to hit it. He does so well finding the top corner. And this has been a stellar performance from a lot of players, that is for sure. And it seems to be getting even better for us as Che Adams just just come onto the pitch. And welcome to the pitch, Che Adams, as he's just found the back of the net to make it 6-0. Every chance turns to goals. Unbelievable stuff from the side as Che Adams just bullies the defender there. And he just slips it onto the wrong side of the keeper and he's got absolutely no chance but that's for sure still 20 minutes left in this tie then it could be even worse for Bristol Rovers as Alvarez is literally proving to be such a good right back and he finds Al Almeida in a decent position Almeida driving on the right hand side he's had a goal to his name so far so is Che Adams he passed it to Che for two he's got a chance he takes it and that is 7-0 this could be our biggest win so far for the club and it's a worthy celebration that is for sure brilliant stuff from the Scotland international as he just takes his time he can Poses himself and he travels it into the bottom corner to put his side in seven heaven. I'm just unbelievable. 86th minute gone. Arten tries to make a loose ball there and unfortunately it isn't to be. Zilla gets involved on the tackle. It's a slight advantage watch play, but Zilla got away with that one. Elijah just on the left hand side. The substitute coming on as he finds the teammate Che Adams. You can see the run being made by Almeida. Could he make it eight for his side and his second for himself? Of course he can. The Brazilian has absolutely been sublime for this game and an unbelievable goal. Seems Seems to be that this is an absolutely perfect game because we have walked away 8-0. We got promotion last game and now we have just topped it off with an 8-0 result. Luka Jovic collecting the match ball once again. Unbelievable stuff from the Serbian international. Can't get any better than that, that is for sure. Next tie after that was Portsmouth away from home then. This could pretty much seal the title, I'm pretty sure, if we were to win this game. In the times of the lineup, though, we've changed it up, that is for sure, as we come near to the end of the season now. Valadzev in goal, Tyler Blackett and N'Golo Link with Abner on the left, Arajo on the right. Alfonso and Akinola in the middle with Afif just in front with Ote making a rare appearance on the left hand side. Che Adams comes in for Luka Jovic and the larger just replaces Alvarado on the right hand side. A decent lineup, to be honest. This should get us over the line. A big change, though. Hopefully, it doesn't go wayward. Hopefully, we should have enough experience on the pitch to still get the job done and claim all three points at Fratton Park.
Six minutes into the game then, Tyler Black, it makes a decent interception in his own half as he push it forwards into Mathias Afonso and they're doing really well on the left-hand side as he finds Ote, Ote driving forward, he hasn't got as much pace as he, the defence does meet him, Raggett trying to intercept, he does that exactly and he puts it onto White but Abner intercepts back onto Ote, back and forth on the left-hand side as he turns and Chase makes the run, what a run that is, he's on side, he's one on one, could this be it? Yes, it is a lovely goal from Chad Adams, he's picked up from where he left off in the previous game and he has found the back of the net to put side 1-0 ahead brilliant goal from Chad Adams lovely pass from Ote he could see he was making the run perfectly timed because he was on side and he puts it into the right hand corner to make it 1-0 in this game unbelievable stuff from Che definitely kind of performed when we've needed him to him and Luka Jovic having stiff competition in the striker role have definitely proved to be kind of even in terms of their goals to game ratio 13 minutes in and Akinola makes a decent interception in the middle of the park and this could be even better for us as our fifth is in the middle of the park also he just tries to make it clear onto Che Adams and he does so well to do so Che on the right hand side and he's dragged it across goal to put it in the bottom corner and I was shocked to see it go in the back of the net where Che was just dragged so far to the right but he's made the most of the angle and he's just driven it into the bottom corner absolutely perfect in terms of the accuracy and he actually makes it 2-0 for his side brilliant performance from Che and this seems to be a decent away day that is for sure 18 minutes gone Portsmouth trying to make the first chance Bishop one to White White just doesn't really get a connection with it and Valisev connects uh, Kleck, sorry. 36 minutes gone. As you can see, Portsmouth trying to see if they can do anything in this tie. And honestly, it's been very, very dull for them. That is for sure. They get a decent opportunity where Yangi comes in. You can see Valisev just comes straight out. He saves that one. And it does go out for a corner kick. They're going to have a chance to see if they can whip it into the box and find the back of the net. As you can see, Stevenson's going to whip it in. There's a chance there. Lowry's there. He connects with it absolutely perfectly. Keeper can't get down quick enough. And that's a decent goal for Pompey as he collects the ball there just before half time. They're slightly back in it, not a kind of bigger deficit. Minus it to one goal now, as you can see. And a brilliant corner, to be honest. And the keepers has had absolutely no chance. He connects with it so well. Poor marking from Chad Adams there. And he just can't get down any quicker. 50 minutes gone here, as you can see. They get another corner. Could they make chance of that, as you can see? And they connect with it really, really well. Valisev does well to kind of cover his lines. It just goes over him. But it's been all Portsmouth since the restart. As you can see, after that first goal, just really boosted their momentum and see what they can do but we win the ball there Araujo making a lovely tackle Elijah just driving on the right hand side he's got a little bit of pace to beat Raggett but not many men kind of support him but it's going to be on his own as Elijah just does get pushed and shoved there as he's holding the shirt as he holds the ball up Chase in the box there as he's just bullying the defender as he's trying to push him into the back of him onto Akinola Akinola to Alfonso keeper does save there as Norris does put it out for a corner kick really really strong opportunity that would have been uh, Elijah just on the right hand side as you can see he's just trying Trying to see what he can do as he pushes it back to kind of momentarily, but Al Raji makes a really good run on the right hand side, and he does really, really well to hold the ball there. And he puts it onto Akinola, Chase in the middle, Che could be for free, free from team, free from himself, and it is a brilliant performance from Che Adam. That pretty much sums it up for Che. A match ball it's going to be at the end of the game and it's a well-deserved one, that is for sure. You can't get any better than that getting a hat-trick away from home in a, such a vital game to claim the title. Brilliant pass from Akinola as he just takes his time, he turns the defender, he's open there and he puts it on the wrong side of the keeper. Substitutions being made then as Alexis Vega comes on for Ote, just shoring it up now, I'm just having a few substitutions. Check is going to come on for Akinola as we just change it up and Anderson's going to come on the right-hand side. But if anything, nothing really happen and that was pretty much it in all honesty we get one more chance Chad on the right hand side could it be his fourth as he just tries to cross it into the box a wayward cross it should be pretty much it as the whistle is going to be blown any minute now and there it is then full time whistle has been blown at Fratton Park we walk away with all three points a 3-1 victory and a celebration to be had because we are now crowned champions of the league one a brilliant brilliant achievement and it's been a long road that's for sure in league two league one in the championship it obviously where you're playing about 23 24 teams it's such a kind of long kind of season it's really really tiresome and it's obviously where we've got a small budget also it's been hard to kind of delve in with the squad but we've done really well I mean later in the season we picked up Luka Jovic on a free unbelievable stuff in all honesty and we have definitely proved to be the better force in league one we've had a few rocky fixtures but overall we've definitely dominated and proven the dominant force the last game was a simulation against Stevenage we lost 3-2 I'm not fussed whatsoever Alvarado and Jovic getting on the score sheet 
sheet. Fair play to them, but we're not fussed. As we look at the stats then, Che Adams getting this top goal score of 31 goals in 42 apps. Below him was Vega on 21. You've got Jovic 16 there. Not bad for a man that joined in January and only played 15 games. You've got Alcatani getting 12 goals. A brilliant season for him as he upgrades himself even more. Alvarado with 12. Much better from him. Seems to be in the latter part of the season. Afif on 12. You've got Zilla on 6. A brilliant performance. It's when we came in on January also. And it's just been an all-round decent performance from a lot of the attacking players. Vega claims the assist. 13 assists. Alcatani gets 12 though. Doing well in the middle of the park. Chadham's 12 assists. Also not bad from the striker role. And a few other midfielders up there also likes of Almeida. So a decent performance from them in terms of what they gave to the strikers and other opposing uh, players. And in terms of the top goal scorers, Adams actually finished on second. He's got two goals below and unfortunately it wasn't to be. Uh, it was unfortunate. Adams also uh, joint first on the assist with Chaplin from Ipswich. And in terms of the clean sheets, Valleys have got 14 compared to Walton that got 15. So only one off in that regard. So not bad all round. But in terms of the season, we played 56. We won 39. We drew 8 and we lost 9. We uh, had 143 goals and we conceded 71. I mean, a big, big season for us. We promoted up to the championship. We won the EFL trophy and we've done what we've done best in honesty. And that was win games and prove that we can be up there. That is for sure. And as you can see, these are the final standings. Played 46, 132, drawn 8, lost 6. 104 points we finished on compared to Ipswich Town 7, uh, 97. Both of us are going to be coming up next season. It's going to be between Derby County, Rotherham, Barnsley and Reading to see if they can put themselves up to the championship. Time will tell as we go back, uh, go up now and we'll see when the table comes out who will come up. But it's been a monumental season, that is for sure. And it's one to remember. And it's definitely something that we're not going to forget for a long, long time. Obviously, we've got the Champions Parade, a lovely feature in this game, in all honesty. It's always nice to see. Obviously, we didn't get to see the trophy when we won it at Fratton Park, but it's nice to see it now. And obviously, we are the double winners. We obviously the winners of the League One trophy and obviously the winners of the EFL trophy. Big stars on the bus then as we celebrate with the fans. The whole team is together. I think I quite like that aspect of it as well. I feel like when you have the team photos from when you win a trophy, you should have your squad members there also that have watched on. So it's nice to see a lot of them on this bus also. And just celebrate and enjoy the time that is for sure but it's been a big season for us it's going to be a big step up next season going into the championship obviously where we've had come down from the league two up into league one and then the championship there's going to be a lot of change in terms of the teams there might be some big teams in there also time will tell though and it's definitely a chapter that we were looking forward to that is for sure but i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode stay tuned for more because the next episode will be in the championship and we've got many more signings to come that is for sure please like and subscribe for more content though just like this one and don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video cheers